Hi everyone, this is Shane R. Monroe, and we're back with another directory opus quickie. This time we're gonna show you all about a feature called Flat View. It's so revolutionary, it's so amazing that they actually trademarked it. So we're gonna take a look now at a fake movies folder that I have on my computer here. I have my movies broken down by year, and inside of each year, I actually have genres for each of my movies. So if I were to go into action, I'd see things like Dead Heat, Predator, and Wedlock. Uh, and likewise, I could dig and dig and dig. It'd really be nice for me to be able to see, show me all the movies in all of these folders. Wouldn't that be great? I mean, that's something you would think your file manager could do. Why should I have to drill and drill and drill? Well, that's exactly what Flat View does. So let's start off by taking a look at the Flat View button. We're gonna hold down our mouse, uh, left click on that, and then you're gonna have three different items as well as off, which it currently is off. We have grouped, mixed and mixed with no folders. So we need to look at each one of these and see how it works. So let's take a look at grouped. Grouped works great. You're, you're able to see the whole file structure down to the file. So I can tell the dead heat is in action inside of 1900 to 1995. And this moves all the way down through all of the other ones. You can also see what folders have no movies in them versus what folders do have movies in them. And the location is available here. So if, for example, you're down here at Vibes, you're not really sure, you know that it's under Romcom, but what's the next folder level up? You can just come over here and you can see it's in 1900 to 1995 Romcoms. So that's really cool. That's a great methodology of looking. Let's take a look at mixed. Mixed allows all files and folders to be displayed with zero hierarchy. All the folders are displayed, <laughs> including all of my different dramas, all of my different horrors, all of my different miscellaneouses, as well as their location, and all of the files. Well, now I can see all my movies. That's pretty good. Um, what I really need to see, just, just show me the movies. I don't need to see the folder structure as long as I can see where they're at. So the last item under flat view is mixed with no folders. Wow, that's, that's literally exactly what I wanted. I wanted to see all the movies that I have. I don't care where they're located in the file structure. I just want to see the movies. And there we have them. All of the movies are right there for you to see. And you can perform actions on them just as you would normally. In fact, now, if you want to copy, check this out. It's even smart enough to know. So I'm going to move these over to my temp folder just so that we have, um, I guess I'll make a temp folder. So watch what happens when I try to move something that's embedded inside of a folder. I'm gonna to try to move Predator over here. Now, it actually knows that I'm in flat view and it asks me, you're going to copy a nested file from a flat view folder. Do you wanna recreate the source directory structure or do you just wanna copy the file over? Well, I just wanna, just, just copy the file. Why is this so complicated? Boom, there's my file. But perhaps, you really wanted to maintain the hierarchy because you're moving to another computer. I don't know, whatever reason you might want to have. We're gonna go ahead and copy. This time we're gonna go ahead and recreate the folder structure. How freaking awesome is that? This is just one of those little things that Directory Opus does that no other file manager does. And if you don't know that it's there, then you might not ever use it and realize, why am I spending 60 bucks on Directory Opus when I can get Total Commander or use Windows File Explorer? These are the sorts of reasons why. Okay, how about a real world example? Something you might use every day. Maybe you're not a movie aficionado. Maybe you don't have 1600 MP3s to uh, manage. Um, let's just say that you're, you're trying to edit your host file. This is something very common for developers and, and stuff to do. And we, you know it's somewhere in Windows and you know it was somewhere in System32. But outside of that, uh, where is it? Now you can sit here and drill through every one of these folders until you find them or you can invoke your friend FlatView and turn off no folders, and at that point in time, right, you can just type in hosts, if you type it right. <laughs> and of course, uh, hosts. Okay, so there's one match. Boom, it's right there. And now you can tell, if I am go ahead and bring this column over, the host file is actually found under drivers, etc. So this is, I mean, you can utilize this a million different ways. Flat view is something I use almost every single day because it is just so natural. Folder structures are there to sort, not to view. So if you can collapse your folder structure, you can actually get access to the files and folder, uh, the files, I should say, that you're actually looking for. That's flat view. It's, again, it's trademarked. If you actually look at the term uh, in the documentation, uh, let me see if it does it on the hover over. Oh, it's not, it doesn't say trademark here, but if you look in the documentation, you'll see they actually trademark the flat view. And it's, maybe that's why no other browser or, or file manager, maybe that's why no other file manager has it. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this directory opus quickie. If there's something you'd like to see in directory opus, drop a comment. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. As always, thanks so much for watching and take care.